Welcome everybody, it's Coach from Wolfnet Radio Podcast, and today we're bringing you a very special unboxing video. Uh, just got half of my shipment in, and I'm super excited to show you guys what's all inside of this. Now what I'm showing to you today is uh, mainly what uh, your merchants got in their merchant pledge. Um, so if you guys have a store near you and your uh, store owners got a merchant pledge, this is what's going to be in it. So we're going to go over a lot of the basic stuff that comes in it. Awesome stuff today. I'm super, super pumped about all of this. Um, we're going to go into a more in-depth uh, conversation on the Wolfnet Radio podcast episode uh, that we're going to be recording here very soon. But uh, we're going to give you guys, we're going to dive into what we got going on right here today. This is the Battletech Clan Invasion box set. Uh, we have been waiting for this forever. So, needless to say, here she is. And it is glorious. Right away when you open the box up, it's awesome. They're keeping with the whole uh, Game of Armored Combat. Uh, nice uh, miniatures, plastic casing. Everything is awesome when you open it up. Uh, first thing you'll notice, besides the gorgeous miniatures, is brand new little short uh, story by the one, the only, Blaine Lee Pardo. Good friend of the show. Way to go, Blaine. Uh, it's an excellent story about the Draconis Combine and the Ghost Bears uh, when the, the clan invasion begins. Um, the Bonds Battle. Excellent, excellent short story. I highly recommend making sure to read this. It is awesome. Um, also, once you notice... We got some Alpha Strike cards that come in it. Uh, it's basically two variants of every type of mech in here. Um, we have an Executioner, a Timberwolf, a Grendel, an Adder, and a Nova. Also, two awesomely sculpted elementals come in the pack as well. But Alpha Strike cards, definitely a plus. That's awesome. Got a set of dice, if you guys don't have dice, which I'm pretty sure you already do, but they give you a set of dice. And we'll get to the miniatures after the rest of it, but also comes with two standard hex maps, um, which are awesome. I, I love the way the new shading and everything is going on the maps. I love the look of them. I like the feel of them. Um, they're your, they're your paper maps. They're not your cardboard maps that uh, you got in the old box set, but I still like them. They're really good, awesome maps to come with. You get a cool little punch out if you guys need some extra mechs or something like that. Also, um, some rubble and uh, some nice uh, terrain features that you get to go on your maps as well. Some cool subterranean stuff, some lakes, some rubble, some hills. It's very cool that you get the backs of the mechs as well. They didn't just print the same thing on both sides. They actually have the back. So that's kind of really cool. I like that little I like that little um, uh, tidbit in there. Also get your classic Battletech cheat sheet kind of a thing here. It's got all the rules and everything on it. We get an amazing map. Now, guys, I can't zoom out far enough for this, but this map is heavily... It's not like a paper map. It is super laminated. And it, uh, sorry for the glare, but it has pretty much all the world's label on it. I love this about this map because it's got all the little worlds and stuff in here. Helps out great with uh, um, role playing and, and stuff like that. Up here, yeah, as you can see, hopefully, this is the 3025 side. You flip it over, you get. The 3052 clan invasion um, up here. You can see where the, the the clans and everything. And it still has all the worlds. I love that about it. It has a lot of the worlds printed on there. So you can kind of zoom in and say you got a battle on some obscure world. You can go in and check that out. I love this map. It is one of the best maps I think they've come out with. Um, it is fantastic. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, record sheets, classic record sheets. Now they give you the clans, and halfway through they also give you the inner sphere uh, that came in the game of Armored Combat. So you kind of get all all the uh, record sheets in one little 
cool little deal here. So also have your elementals, but as you can see, nice set of sheets there. You get classic um, clan invasion rule book. Now this rule book is awesome because it, it dives very heavily into clan honor and elementals. It, it's very geared towards um, the clan side of things. It is the clan invasion box set, so therefore the rules should be clan specific. Also, at the end, you can see some wonderful artwork or some awesome painted miniatures. Uh, sources close to me say that is our very own Kevin Witz doing. Excellent job, buddy. They look fantastic. Last thing in the box is just kind of a clan invasion primer. It uh, basically just goes through the eras, gives you another brief map, but it also goes into kind of a little synopsis of each clan. It's really nice. Clan Jade Falcon, and these are mostly just the, uh, the invading clans, but it also gives you some of the a rundown of the reserve clans, what happens in Operation Revival, a nice little glossary, and again, at the back, it gives you kind of <clears throat> the map and all these little sections so you can get the Federated Commonwealth uh, march breakdowns. You can get the uh, Draconis Combine Military District. They break it all by, down by districts, which is also super helpful. Uh, at the end, I kind of like the, the last page. It gives you the Clan Invasion uh, Tactical Readout, or Technical Readout, the Battletech Manual, Destiny, and the Alpha Strike books as... Uh, helpful deals and also awesome fictional in the back so people can kind of put a uh, put a uh, cover art to the book they're reading so let's now get back into these miniatures again comes in a nice little case like this I like it I, I don't think I'm going to use it for carrying them around but for right now um, it's super awesome I love the packaging is just great uh, it, it it's just excellent the whole I have been blown away by everything that's come out right now it is just I can't I can't shower praise on catalyst enough because all of this stuff is awesome so we are gonna get a little closer here so we can get a little in-depth into our minis here so excuse the excuse the, uh, <laughs> the zoom but um, so let's break this down so these are basically the miniatures you're going to get in your box set uh, again they are fantastic i want to do a little comparison here because it is just it's crazy awesome on first of all let's go to these elementals I'm, i don't know if i'm going to be able to zoom well enough for this no it doesn't look like it's going to but anyway uh, these elementals are fantastic. I'm sure I'll take some pictures, put them up on the Wolfnet Radio Facebook page. But these are fantastic for just a little size comparison. Um, let's see if we can get this down here a little more. Yep. Do, 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 do. Technical difficulties, yeah. Because we love to do the everything with Battletech, yeah. Because we're so excited for the clan invasion. All right, let's get all up in here. So, as you can see, as a size comparison, hopefully this thing will focus or not. Maybe it won't. I don't know. Anyway, um, so this is kind of your standard. This is what we got going on now. Uh, the the size comparison. So the elementals that come out in the new box set are a little smaller than the actual original elementals, but the detail and just the two guys jumping, the one without the SRM pack, is just fantastic. It is it is 100% the way to go. Um, I'm super, super excited about everything that's in here just because it has, uh, they just look great. They look fantastic. They're, they're posed right. Um, they've got a great feel to them. Um, they're just really, really awesome. So... Again, I don't think this thing is going to auto-zoom for me, but whatever. So anyway, those are the elementals. Again, these guys are jumping. They're all in action poses. 
um, it's it's a lot of fun I'm really really excited so let's just do another size comparison here's the Timberwolf and here is the old Timberwolf now this is this is very interesting because and you'll see this a lot in everything <laughs> All the new sculpts are at least a third taller in, in size compared. They're just bigger, beefier, um, and compared to the other models, they're just so much, they're, they're bigger. They're just a lot bigger. Um, what this is going to do is going to add greatness for um, painting. It's going to be great for decals. It's going to be great for just everything. The, the look and feel on the table is just going to look fantastic. <clears throat> um and as you can tell, uh, they're just they're just a lot deep, more detailed. They got a lot more stuff going on. It's it's super super awesome. So, as you can see, these are what we got. Um, and that's what you get in the first set. Now, a couple other things we do get: we will get random salvage boxes for clan uh, clan invasion. Uh, legendary and you get the classic uh, urban mech which we'll get to later but uh, these are all random um, you don't know what you're gonna get turns out we got a vulture with this one or a mad dog depends on what you want so they come also with their own cool little case they come with a couple of cards pilot and uh, uh, an alpha strike card along with it and the sculpt again is just awesome it is it is just so detailed I, like I said I wish I had a better camera but they're just fantastic again if you put it next to another mad dog you can you can see the height difference it is just they're just bigger beefier um, I love how you know in the old mad dog it was just that skinny little nose down the middle well this way this time it's it's got a big nose on it it's it's just got the guns are great the, the LRM tubes are awesome just everything looks great the the plastic is is a, a good plastic it just looks awesome um, super excited let's do uh, another one another uh, clan salvage invasion box the big dog the dire wolf look at that it is just huge again another size comparison Look how much bigger that is. It is just so much bigger. And it just, oh, it's awesome. Um, the sculpt is amazing. Um, everything is, is, is you're going to be able to paint so much better with all of these. Um, again, I know I'm not doing it justice with this crappy camera, but uh, just the weight and the feel is just huge. I mean, and it, and it feels like that's what it should be on the, on the battlefield again you put it next to the executioner and the timber wolf you know if you put these two together look at look at the look at the difference here between these three right so if i'm going to put the the same let's get this you know these guys all kind of look like they're the same height same build this guy is just a monster you put this guy on the battlefield it's just huge um you can you can see the size differences it's just when you're gonna put that on the table it's gonna be noticeable now some people are like well then I can't play my old you know my old sculpts with my new sculpts and this and that I get it Battletech's in a transitioning period um, I don't think anyone's gonna fault you for putting those two but I, I will tell you once you get these guys in your hand, you're not going to want to go to anything else. It, they just look so much better and, and just have a, a better feel to them. Um, let's see what else we got here. Uh, another one. We got a Mist Lynx. Right there. Let's see what else we get here. We got a Ice Ferret. And, uh, nope, I already showed you that one. I think that's the extent of, of kind of the salvage boxes that I got. I didn't really get anything uh, totally crazy. I was kind of hoping for that Thor and that Loki, but I didn't get those either. The one thing I do want to notice, and another thing you can get, is you can get these legendary MechWarrior Battletech salvage boxes. 
Now these are different. These are, uh, I think there's only three, no, there's, I think there's four or five legendary ones. And I was lucky enough to pick up an Aiden Pride Timberwolf. Now again, sorry for the, the zoom, but if you notice, if I put them side by side with my other one, they are a different sculpt. So if you, you can, you can look real close. Let's see if we can get this guy down here and get it real close in. You can notice, you know, one's got the leg, the leg up here. The other one's got the leg up going over there. Guns are placed in a little different area. These are more straight on. Um, not much else in the sculpt, but you can tell it's a different, it's a different Timberwolf. It just looks different. Um, not a lot, but enough. Um, and I, I love that. It's, it's awesome. Um, so that's my Aiden Pride one. Uh, I also got, and I was super excited that I got this. I wanted this for the longest time. I got my Grayson Carlisle Marauder. Look at that guy. It is so sexy. It is just awesome. I love it. I love it. It just, it's so beefy and so menacing. It's exactly what I wanted. Now you'll notice um, this is not going to be the sculpt that you'll get in your, I think it's the Inner Sphere Command Star Lands pack or something like that. It's going to be different. But I wanted to bring an old Marauder next to it. Kind of give you that size comparison. Now you can see how it's just a little taller, but the whole thing is just beefier. The whole thing is just bigger and more menacing. Um, it just, it's got a whole different life to it. I mean, I love my old Marauders and everything, but this thing is just, it breathes a whole new life into this classic, iconic, uh, battle mech. So I was just super excited that I got one of those in my pack. Uh, and last but not least, everyone's, everyone's favorite, the Irby mech. Look at that guy. You know, the original Urban Mechs are kind of light and dinky and this and that. This guy is beefy. I love the little beef stick. He is so cool. Uh, he just looks awesome. Uh, I'm super excited for the, the Urban Mech. I'm definitely going to, hopefully I can get four of these guys, and I'm going to put them all in a lance bag. Let's see if I can get that. No, zoom is just not going to work. Oh, well. Or the focusing, I should say. So anyway, got that guy. So that's what comes in all of those. Another thing you can probably see in the background here is they come with these awesome coins. Now you can see that the coins are actually in a hard plastic. So they're kind of like a collectible coin here. And it's, I'm super happy that they did that. Um, they just look so much better. And you know, if you want to keep them in there as your display, it protects them a little longer, I'm assuming, but you take it out and that you can hear it that's just a that's just a hard metal coin and as you can see let me zoom this out here a little bit more i promise you my next uh, <laughs> unboxing video will look much better <laughs> and sorry about the glare and everything but let's see let's just move it out of the way so anyway you can see that the coin it's a heavy coin it's got a, a thud to it. Each one will have, so the the Inner Spheres have the MRBC on it. It's Wolf Street Goons one. All the clans have a, uh, a mech imprinted on the back of it. I kind of, I think it's kind of their go-to uh, mech, but uh, I really like the fact that they're in these, they're in these hard plastic cases. You know, they, they're great for display. Also got some dice. Uh, they're the they're the hard square dice, which are not. I mean, they're nice. It's not my favorite, but they're nice. Um, turned out really good. You can see that they got the symbols for the sixes. Symbols turned out pretty good. Sorry, the light's not great there, but got a cool little keychain, little Krensky Star keychain there. Let's see what else did we get? Oh, I sprung for the extra and got the. The uh, large-scale Iron Winds uh, metal sculpt of the Warhammer and the Timberwolf. 
<clears throat> they come in pieces and they're heavy. So I'm assuming they're going to stand, uh, you know, about yay tall. Oop, I suppose you can't see that, but those were those are definitely worth it. I'm going to make some. <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to make some uh, <clears throat> trophies out of those things. Also, I got the uh, the Legends MechWarrior pack. And as you can see, all the people that pledged money to be a Kickstarter and did went through and put their pictures up there. I'm loving the artwork they did for these guys. Um, it's just fantastic. Um, it's it's not cartoonish. It's it's very portrait-ish, and I love that. I just it's not a, a direct picture, but I just love the fact that the artwork is fantastic. I love the way they did the artwork on these. And as you can see, there are a lot of them. Um, I haven't counted them, but there's there's a lot. There's a ton of pilots in here. Um, and a lot of you guys may recognize some of the names on here uh, because they're all actual people. They, they submitted. Um, so they don't have a gunnery or piloting, but they do have you know, uh, the rank affiliation, the unit, the battle, uh, battle mech or whatever they pilot, they do have a brief history of it. And then on the back, they have their saying and then the, the full picture. And it's, it's really well done. Um, I'm, I'm loving it. It's, it's really, really cool. These are all basically just mercenaries. Um, so this is like, <laughs> this is just mercenaries. Like there are two other packs, I believe out there. And, uh, also, you might notice that handsome devil right there from the Wolfnet Radio Podcast. Senior Andrew Kroll got his name in there. Major. They got him in a war dog, though. <laughs> I guess I guess they didn't get his Marauder 2 in there just in time for the, the packs to go out, but that's funny. You guys can make fun of him for being in a war dog. Then. <clears throat> Knock him down a few pegs. <laughs> But anyway, that is the Clan Invasion box set that I have received so far. Now, obviously, um, there's a lot of stuff here that uh, I didn't get yet. There's so many more mechs and, and packs and patches and shirts and stuff like that. I haven't received that yet. I'm still waiting for my uh, Wave 1 uh, continuing stuff. But uh, as you can see... Um, I'm super happy with what I got. Um, it's going to be a great new dawn for Battletech. So much fun that's going on. The mechs look great. All the product looks awesome. Uh, their catalyst knocked it out of the park. They did a fantastic job. So stay tuned. We are going to be talking about this uh, in our next upcoming podcast, which should be recorded here soon and then delivered to you guys sooner. Uh, or not sooner, but uh, after we record. Um, head over to the Wolfnut Radio Podcast Facebook page, or you can join our Discord channel, uh, where we do a lot of Mega Mech games. Uh, we do a kind of a, like a role-playing uh, uh, Wolfnut Regiment that you can join up on. Uh, other than that, we have tons of guys and gals uh, definitely willing to help you out learn Battletech, play Battletech, and just immerse yourself into the Battletech universe. Um, so subscribe to the channel. We're going to be doing a lot more stuff on the YouTube these days, uh, like these unboxing videos. I promise I'll get a better camera. <laughs> but uh, the biggest thing you do is jump on the Facebook page, download the podcast, get caught up, uh, and we will be giving you more and more information uh, whenever we get it. So happy new Battletech Day, everyone, and have a good night. <laughs>